Good evening. I hope you are having a wonderful weekend. And this weekend I decided that I was going to work on a mixed media project. And so I um, have went ahead and cut out a lot of the pieces that I'm going to use ahead of time. I've cut out some uh, different colors of leaves. I've also, and I used my Big Shot for these. I have a die, so I just used the Big Shot die for those. And then I've also cut out some um, flower shapes. And I used my silhouette for this, but I actually have punches that would match this. So if you don't have a silhouette or a Big Shot, you can go online and print out and cut out your own, fussy cut your own leaves out. Um, or if you have punches or whatever you have, you can use about anything for this project. And then I did have some words. I'm going to make a, um, with this file one, it's going to say grateful, thankful, and blessed. And so I had some wooden letters that I would cut out so that I'm going to use. And if you don't have anything like that or you can't find anything, you can cut these out on your, um, if you do have a silhouette or die cut, and just layer them to be thicker. Um, also, that was the stem I cut by hand. I also cut out three orange ovals, and I'm using that paper that I showed in my last video of the Michaels Hall. I don't know if you can see the um, embossing on it. So I'm using this one with embossing. And then I've just got some paper here that I'm going to cover my wood board with. And if you don't have a wood board, you could use, you could layer up um, a couple of cereal box layers and glue those together and make it thick enough. Or you could use corrugated cardboard that packages come in. You could use a canvas. And so there you could, if you don't have the same products, you can still make this by just using what you have. So we're going to start out first by just ripping up our paper, start tearing it. Let me make sure we're still filming because I've been having a little trouble with my camera. I've lost um, some footage a couple of times, so I'm just going to check it. So we're going to start out by just tearing. This is what I love about mixed media, it's just tearing my paper. Um, let me get me some Mod Podge. I'm just going to glue it on with the Mod Podge. I've got to find my brush. Okay. I'm just going to tip down in here. This wood, since I didn't seal it, is going to soak up my glue, so I may have just add more as I go. It's just going to Add this here. Oh, there we go. Make sure it gets glued down. Put some more glue down here. Get this out of the way so I can see. And I'm just using some cardstock that I had on hand. Uh, it's not wanting to stick. This one ain't. So I want that to be torn right there. Don't want any straight lines. Okay, and then I am using the um, matte Mod Podge because I really didn't want to put any gloss on it to begin with. I may add something glossy on the top when I get done. For now, yeah, that's good. Just down good. Okay, so we just tear a little bit more. Let's see. Oh, let's see here. We do need some more. And I'm tearing it just to give it that extra texture. So that it has some more texture to it. And we're gonna I'm gonna use some paints and different things on it. The noise, overlook the noise in the background. My husband is busy cooking supper. So it's gonna be a bit noisy and it's time to feed the girls, the our two schnauzers, so it's going to get a little noisy around here in a few minutes, but I still want to hop on and get this started because it's gonna take a while to dry. 
so I wanted to get all of this layered before supper. This is messy, but I I find that mixed media is so relaxing. The tearing of the paper, the all the mess. that one there yet. Oops. I don't want any straight edges within the middle of the project, I don't think. Well, not yet anyways. big chunk. I don't know. I want to add such a big chunk on it. Let me stand back and look here. Hmm. That'll probably be okay. This paper has a little texture to it, and you can see dots in it. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's not a solid cream color. It has some dots of color in it, and then this one doesn't, but it's just a little textured piece that it's got more of a uh, plaid texture in it. And in the background, you can hear one of the Snauzers, little girls, she's, I think she's trying to tell Bryce, tell one of our boys it's time to it is time to eat, so I may have to pause the video and feed them. But I'm gonna try to get this. I'm trying to get this layered, and then I'll pause it and feed while it's drying. I can feed the girls. So we'll see if they hold out that long and wait for me. They're on a. We have them on a pretty good schedule, so that they eat at a certain time each day and. That way they go to bed at a certain time and get up. I like to sleep in, so they, we have them where they can, they'll sleep in with us. So, try to keep them scheduled out. Let's see, that'll go there or maybe here. Let me get a bigger piece. I think I want to cover it just a little bit better than that. The um, I really like the texture here. That I kind of forgot. I'm gonna kind of slide this up under there because I really don't want to lose all that. What if I can do that? Don't want to lose all that. I like how it's all overlapping. Let's just see if I can. Hopefully, I don't mess it up. Okay, let's just slide that in there and then put this back over it. I know it's kind of crazy looking right now, but move all that out of the way. But it'll make sense, I think, once I get further into it. Get a lot of glue on that board because it is soaking it up. The board wants to, the wood wants to just soak in all that glue. may have to tear that just a little right there. Tear this one back so it lays down. There we go. Getting the texture there. Then I think I'll just add this one here. I 
am using a lot of glue. It looks rather messy at the moment, but I'm trying to get it all to lay down. Okay. And let's see. I need to, another little small piece. Cut up right here. I'm trying to cover the wood completely. I don't like that. I'm going to pick that back up. So I'm going to take a larger piece and put in that spot. I think it's just too many pieces joining in one spot there. Yeah. There we go. And then maybe a small little piece over here to cover that. Maybe not. Let's see here. I'm trying to find what pieces I have left. Yeah, that'll do good. I'm just looking. I'll check the camera again because it does keep cutting off on me. So, I'm going to add that. I'm going to just stick it down. I'm just going to paint over it all to make sure it's got all the splatters and stuff smoothed out. I got to just get it all smoothed down. I do see those little pieces. I could cover those just real quickly. Maybe a little strip here to cover that little hole. Yeah, that'll work. You never know. I have a vision when I start my mixed media. I have a vision of what I'm going for, but you never know a lot of times how it's going to turn out because I, I change it as I go. I come up with a different idea as I go and I see how what I was doing looks and I change my mind sometimes of how I want it to look. So we're going to leave that. I think we've got a good few edges there. And let me, I'm going to let that dry and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now it is fairly dry. I'm going to cover the whole board in gesso, white gesso. So let's just see if we can get it covered. May take two coats. Okay, so it's mostly dry, but the more I look at it, the more I feel like I need more layers, maybe something here, and maybe a little bit more layers um, in here. I'm not sure yet. I'm just thinking I don't have enough. I've got a lot of layers in the bottom, which is still wet. I just dried the top so I could see this. Um, 
just don't feel like I have enough layers in the, the top portion. So let me add just a few more layers on. Let's see, let me see if I can do it this just so. Just add it on. Right in here, I'm going to add some. I may have to get my glue out. Not sure that's going to hold it down. It might. Alright. So that gives it a little layer up there, a little texture. And then I'm thinking maybe over in here somewhere. Needs just a little bit more. I'm just going to add it right. Oops, I don't want that. I don't want that to be torn. There we go. Just add a little bit more gesso. And I did put a second layer on most of it so far. I'm just trying to get layered up the gesso and the different papers, different textures. I just want texture all over it. I might need something right in there. Let's see. Maybe some torn edges there. And just a little bit more. Just on top of that one. Kind of blends it in. Kind of blending all the edges. that's looking good so let's let that dry and then let's start adding our design to it so now it's mostly dry so I'm going to be adding some texture paste to it I just got to figure out which stencil I want to use what design am I wanting hmm. <laughs> trying to decide Maybe just a little bit of this, this, maybe just some dots. Let's just add some dots and see how it looks. Okay. My, my um, texture paste is starting to dry out, so I have to work with it and see if I can get it to do right. There we go, there's some dots. We'll put some here in the middle. And then we'll add some down here at the edge. I want to put them anywhere else. Let me check the camera, make sure we are still filming. Yes. Okay. So, hmm. Thinking if I don't smash these, I need to. I'm trying to think. I don't want to put too many. I'm thinking maybe some down in here. We shall see how that looks. There we go. Maybe on the edge here. Okay. So now we've got our dots added. I'm going to clean this off before I can move on. Oops, I dropped a little bit of paint in there. Okay. So now we have our dots. and Let's see what else I can add while that's drying. I'm not really sure that is dry enough. I could go ahead. Let me go ahead and just dry this real quick. Okay, so now all of the texture that I added with the dots, the texture paste that I put on, it is all dry now. And so I'm going to start adding some stenciling to this. I'm just going to add some different 
colors. So I'm using, let's see, which one did I use? I'm using the aquamarine, I'm using pumpkin orange, and melted chocolate. And so I'm just using an old sponge I have. This is a different sponge than, that I use. I don't use this one with my stamp pads. This, it looks about the same, but this one's the one I use with my paints. So I'm just gonna take and add just a little bit. And I don't want it really wet when I do this. I just want to add just a little color to the background.
So now I have done the background. As you've seen, I, I did the background. I added some orange and some um, of the aquamarine and the chocolate brown. And then I just took a stamp pad and a stamp that I had that does dots and I just went all around it making it look kind of messy, like there's a lot of splattered paint on it. And then I went with my um, sponge that I have with stamp pad and I just sort of browned around the edges. So now, also, I did go ahead and darken around the edges of all my pieces. I have those ready. I'm darkening around my flowers. And what I did was just sponge those. I just sponged around the edges of everything just to kind of give it an aged kind of look. So let me close up this ink pad before I make a mess. So now I'm just going to start adding the pieces. I'm going to lay the pieces out first, and then we'll start adding them to the canvas. So we're going to put this here, and then this is going to go on top. I'm not exactly sure where he's going to go yet. And so then, and I made a little stem. I just cut a little stem out for him. And we have our flower. And I went ahead and darkened the edges on this flower, and then I just sort of curled up the edges to kind of give it a... Um, show the layered look. Couldn't even think what I was going to say, but show the layered look. And I'm trying to decide how many pieces I want to add to that. I think, I think that'll be good. So let me start layering that one together. So we get all our pieces together. This one, I'm going to add on top, and one more. I think that's going to be good. I'm sure none of them. Oops. fussy with it just a minute to get it all lined up like I like it. And just I'm gonna put this as the center. And I just punch that center. And then just curl that up a little bit more. Let it dry and I'll fussy with it a little bit more. So let's go ahead and put the pumpkin together. We're just gonna layer. And I want that one on the front. So we're gonna layer these two together. I want them scoop. Okay. Like that. Then we'll add, add this one on top. you go. The, here he is. Add the little stem. How far do I want it sticking out? Okay. Got a little stem on. Then, got all these different leaves. Let me lay out how, how do I want them. Thinking this one here. I'm not gonna make them totally symmetrical, but kind of. Just gonna have to fussy with it for just a minute to get exactly how I want it. something like that and then maybe adding in maybe I should take and layer it like this something like this and then this and then take this one and layer it on this side or maybe just add this one in add a little 
yellow over here, and then add this on top. Take a look at that and see if I like that. Maybe I want, let's try this one on the bottom, then this one, and then this one. How do I like that? So on this side, I'll put this one on the bottom. Maybe this one up here, this one down here, and then add. I like that. Okay, so now, or do I want him underneath? Like that. Okay, so we're going to add that now. So let's go ahead and add these leaves. Glue them together before I forget how I had them. Okay. Let me just raise this up. Blue here, blue here. Put that away, get them the way I had them. I'm going to use some of this glossy accents to add the pumpkin. First, I need to lay though everything again to make sure that I leave room for my wording. So let's put this here. This little leaf is going to go up here, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with it in a moment. Let's make sure we're still filming because this has been cutting off quite a bit lately. And we're going to do grateful, thankful, and then blessed. It's going to go right here. Or I might want to move them down just a little. Move it right there. Grateful, thankful. Let's see. Grateful, thankful, blessed. I'm going to take this a bit down. right there. I think that's going to be a good placement of everything. Okay, so let's just start going it all down. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this to the back. I think that this glossy accents will hold it better than my other glue. Since this is wood. And if it don't, then I'll go out to the shop and get some wood glue and glue it on with that. That had to be perfect. These are so thin, it's hard to get any glue on them without making a mess. Okay, let's just add him. Okay, what, right? That looks about even. So, right here. Some dam since he's on top of those dots, is having trouble taking hold. Okay, then I'm gonna let me see what can I set on top of that? Maybe I'll set this, that'll be some weight. Okay, let me do the grateful, then that'll work, and then. Uh 
Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to use a different leaf. Got it dirty. Okay, let's see if that's gonna work. So I want grateful right here. Thankful. And blessed. Okay, so now I'm gonna just put this on top. And put this weight as a weight. Make sure I got the lid on. And hopefully that'll hold it down so while it's gluing. And now we'll work on this side. So I'm gonna take my pumpkin up. It's gonna get right there from three dots. Just gonna add a little bit of this glue or the glossy accents to the back. Put them right there. Rub them down good so to make sure we get it stuck down good. And then get my bunches of leaves for each one of them. I guess you could use hot glue in this in, in this spot too. That would work. I didn't even think about that. I could have had my glue gun heating up, but this will work just as good, I do believe. Let's see what that flower a little bit won't hold it down. Let's curl up some of the pieces. So you can separate some of the petals from each other. Gives it more dimension. Took my fingernail and so we can smooth that out. Okay. Alright, there we go. I think it's down tight. I bet these are drying. Yeah, they're doing good. Put the lid on here. And let me get a different leaf out since I got some stuff on me. Got some glossy accents on the other one. So I'll take and go ahead and just sponge around the edges. And then I'm going to put that there. And then I have a piece of string here. It's just. Some stuff I had, some cord I had. It says jewelry cord. It's, this is the natural I'm using. And I'm going to try it. I'm not sure exactly. I probably shouldn't have glued this totally down. It's going to um, have it come out the stalk here. And then I want to take and just slide it up under there. And I was going to take it and let me see if I can. It's going to be like this and then it's going to come around. So let me see. How that looks. Okay. I'm going to just add a dot this glossy accents right here and then I'm going to take some scissors and trim it first so it isn't so frayed looking okay I'll just stick it right there it's coming out the pumpkin then I'm just going to Have to hold it there for a second. Just put a spot of glue. Right here. Hold that down. Hold that there. And just a spot underneath. It's not going to take much to hold it. 
just want enough to hold it down. Not enough to be oozing out and showing. Go ahead and glue this down now. So I think I'm going to have it come to right here. Oops. Wants to curl back, doesn't it? So maybe I can just take it and let it curl around this way. Like that. Not really sure. That may be too far out, but I'm going to take put just a dot here and glue it down. And then I'm going to take the leaf and let the leaf go in right there too. So let's see how that looks. The leaf needs to be more turned sideways. Dot there. Okay. I think I'll trim it just a little more. Just right there. I don't know if I want to let it hang natural or if I want to kind of be hard to see. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Let's see. I think that's, maybe I'll just put just a dot right here. there we have our finished piece, our grateful, thankful, blessed mixed media sign for fall. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you make one, please comment below and let me know and you can just tag me on Instagram. I'd love to hear from you and I'd love to see what you make. Thank you so much for watching.